the use case I have brought to you. Uh, it's a case which deals with the uh, um, different kind of consortia you're dealing with. with mm. uh, open consortia which are voluntarily and with consortia which are forced to work together. The companies, they have to find a solution because they have to work together. And I want to present this on, uh, on a small trip, take you on a journey to a small town in the coast of Italy, to Manarola. And when you take a trip, it starts with one thing, the question how to get from A to B. So in my case, from Frankfurt to Manarola itself. And it would be easy to take a car, so I would say how to get there without a car. And um, the first thing which occurs is like my business, looking up for the train companies. Like, how do I get there with the train? Then I get curious, look up, how I can fly there, or how to take the bus to go to this uh, city. And there's one thing in common, um, whether you track the train, the, the airplane, or everything else, you have different operators, different booking platforms, different ticketing platforms, different identity providing mechanism, and so on, so on, so on. So going from A to B and the long distance transport is a huge mess, and it's a an area where companies have to work together voluntarily to create solutions, to create um, solutions for the customer to make this journey much more um, yeah, convenient, I would say. And when you go to the uh, public short-range uh, transit in Germany, I know the, the switcher guys are much more ahead than we are, but uh, in general we have something called a Verkehrsverbund. It's like a public transportation network, with um, tons of different companies in it. So like if you're going to the Frankfurt area, it's more than 160 different companies working, forced to work together to um, deliver this public transport to companies. So it's like that the, um, the country you're in, like for example Berlin or Brandenburg or so on, says, okay, I need a company providing uh, a bus trip from Potsdam to Berlin itself and then a company can apply for it. And if it's get granted to say, okay, you're the one getting paid for making this um, transport road, they get a contract with the country, in this case Berlin, which leads on last to, to uh, between 10 and 15 years. And they have to be in the so-called Verkehrsverbund Berlin-Brandenburg to work there for like 10 to 15 years with the other companies together. And um, the benefit for the customer, it's very obvious. I don't have to take care about which kind of this, in this case, 160 companies I can use. I just have one ticket and I pay. If I travel longer, I pay more. If I travel not that long, I have to pay less. But I don't have to care which kind of company is behind it. And the question is, why is this not a thing that also can be applied to the long distance transport? And the current... Um, that is pretty easy. Um, so you have to work together with, in the Frankfurt case, our 160 different companies, and you have to also do the clearing. So you have a ticket which costs five euro fifty, and you have to clear it, and every one of the 160 companies want a share of it. And um, this clearing process currently can take up to five years. So in the worst case, I know in the year 2020 what I earned or have to pay back in 2014. Uh, which obvious for bigger companies, a thing, even for smaller companies, which shouldn't, is very efficient. And um, you should avoid this. And um, there are many approaches uh, like um, having a third party, making the split the bill thing, um, in this to uh, find a solution for the public networks, but then it turns out, ah, this third party wants money for it, ah, we can't afford it. Then the Deutsche Bahn with 70% uh, market share says, ah, give us the data, we make the clearing, everything's fine. But as we are competing to the other companies, everyone says, getting you the data? No way. Um, so we came up in this current approach with the blockchain technology and try to um, shorten this from a five years perspective down to a daily perspective to um, build up trust with the blockchain using a shared ledger, not owned by Deutsche Bahn or anything else, but the whole public transportation network can use it by themselves. We want to say that the chase sales channel stays with these companies, uh, everything is private, the ticket data goes on the network, and uh, everything is audible. So if you have um, 
uh, appraiser companies checking the smart contracts and everything running. Every transaction on this network is um, yeah, validated by the appraiser. This is saying we want to start uh, in the first part of 2020 with a bigger public network in, uh, in Germany. And the thing and our vision in this AX is also going seamless traveling with the long distance part. But in this case, we start small and hopefully go big with other companies. Thank you.